Come on out. Yes. Not a very smart roach, are you? Not. Oh, oh, oh. I think that was the best takedown in this video. Good morning, guys. So today we're going to be feeding some tarantulas. And as you can see, some of the enclosures have those blue towels on them. Those are because these tarantulas, I just recently paired them. So I'm keeping it dark so the female will feel more secure and hopefully give us some good babies. Well, today we're going to be feeding them some dubia roaches because I just picked out like a hundred dubia roaches from my roach bin. Look at that. That is a lot of roaches. So yeah, let's get this feeding video started so we do not delay any further. You guys want to see something disgusting? Yeah, my Boomba Kabokla, not a single clue where she is, somewhere in the burrow back there. But look at this, just look at this. Absolutely disgusting. Next up guys, is my Lassidora striatopes female over here. She is big and we're gonna have to clean her water as well. Let's see if she'll take this roach. Hey girl. Whoa, whoa, you want it? You don't want it? Come on, grab it. You don't want it. Yo, are you serious? You don't, are you in pre mold again? Really, really? Oh, well, let's see if my other striatopes would like a roach. Should I just drop it here? And the roach decides to play dead. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, girl. I'm so sorry. And yeah, today I'm going to be also cleaning out their water dish as I feed them. So yeah, but I will not show that on camera. Otherwise, this video is going to be super long. Just take a look at that, you guys. That is insanity right there. <laughs> so yeah, I could hear the crunch just now, but I did, I did not get it on camera. But yeah, the roach is still alive and kicking. Oh my gosh. Oh man. I accidentally touched her web, like it was over here. I thought her legs touched me and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna get bit today. So as you can see, the roach is still pretty much alive and yeah, it'll be dead in any moment. All right, next up guys, we have my Lassudora Parahibana. Ooh, whoa, that was quick. That was quick. I really hope that you guys saw the takedown because I kind of panicked a little bit when she ran. So, <laughs> yeah, that's my Lassidora Parahibana female. I think she is a juvenile because she is about 5 inches. They get about 8 inches. Wait, no, 10 inches if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, that's my Parahibana. This salmon pink bird eater. Let's clean out her water dish. pre or no pre -mold? Here's my Sericopelma species Santa Catalina. Yep, no pre -mold. Hell yeah! I always thought she was in pre mode because she has never eaten in quite a while. And this girl, she's usually a very aggressive eater. So, yeah, not in pre mode. Very, very nice. In here is my Hatterscordra maculata. You'll not be able to see her. Oh, there she goes. Yep, she took it. But because it's in a hole, then my phone does not want to focus. But oh! There she is. <laughs> there she is. Oh my gosh, wrestling with that roach. Absolutely beautiful girl. She molted. Oh, now you can finally see her. So yeah, she molted about three weeks ago. And that is her second meal. Damn. Look at her. What an absolute beauty. Can't wait to get a matured male and pair her now. Because we had a matured male and we paired her when she was in pre mold And yeah, you guys know fail so yeah now we're just going to try to find another mature meal to pair her again is this girl hungry i don't think so because i think she's actually in pre-mold so yeah she's in pre-mold this is one of the biggest tarantulas that i have actually i think it is the biggest and we just recently paired her as well and look at the abdomen i think she looks super gravid so we'll give her some energy to produce some more eggs oh my gosh she is absolutely massive, you guys. Don't even want to mess with this girl. She has tried eating males like... It's crazy. It is insane. And she's probably going to run at me, isn't she? Please do not... Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Yes, I got the water dish. This, you guys, is my Lassudora Kluge. I'm pretty sure she is a hungry girl. So, hey, where's the roach going? Hey, are you freaking kidding me? Roach, come here. Come here. You're gonna get eaten. Yeah! Yeah! Get down! Get down! 
So yeah, <laughs> that's my Lassidora Klugi di Bahia Scarlet. Look at her. Whew. That takedown though. At first the roach came and dropped here and she did not sense it. But yeah, now she sensed it. And now how am I going to even take out the water? Dish? She's probably going to attack me, isn't she? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Tell me you have an ungrateful tarantula without telling me you have an ungrateful tarantula. I'll go first. Are you freaking kidding me, man? Oh, really? Really? I give you a clean water dish. I clean it every time. And you, you repay me with this? You... Okay, whatever, man. Whatever makes you happy. This right here, let's see if she'll come out and take it. I'm not sure if she's in pre mode though. Hello, do you want it? Do you want the roach? Oh my gosh. Yep, I don't think she is interested in the roach because I think she's in pre mode. Yep, she's in pre mode. She's definitely in pre mode. However, we actually tried pairing this girl and it was a success. However, I think she's in pre mode, so yeah. Ooh, damn. So yeah, that right there is my Emerald Skeleton Tarantula. The Aphibopus Watuman, I believe, if I pronounce that right. We'll toss in another roach, just for good luck. Here you go. We can grab another roach for good luck. Come on. Ooh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Heck yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's in the hole, you guys. Can't really see, but... Yep, that is her enclosure. Ooh. Yo! I don't know if you guys saw that, but that is my Philippine tangerine. Orphanacus philippinus. And just like the other one, here's another one for good luck. You gonna grab it? Come on. Yeah! There we go. Yeah! This is my Kilobrachis Andersoni, the Burmese mustard. Oh man, she almost got it. And she was like, what the heck? And then she didn't grab it. Come on, girl. You can do this. Come on. Don't make me just go and like, come on, grab it. Come on, yeah! Yep, she got it. Oh man, I didn't get to see the takedown, but she got it. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I had to kind of tease the roach a little bit, so it'll start to run. You can hear the crunch. Yeah. But yeah, sorry you guys didn't see the takedown. My bad, my bad. Next on our list is my... Oh, he's hungry. He knows what's up. He knows what's up. So yeah, when torrentials are hungry, they are hungry. <laughs> this is my male Terranopelma sesimai, the Brazilian blue. Come on. Come on, Dubia, you gotta move a little bit and you are a goner. Come on. Whoop, whoop, come on. Oh, yeah. Go! Oh my god, what a takedown. Oh, did you guys see that? That was insane. At first, he didn't know what it was, but then when the roach decided to move, boom! And next on our list is a very, very hungry species. This is the Acanthoscoria chacona. Watch her take down this roach. Heck, oh, yo, yo, you don't want the, come on, don't tell me you're in pre mode. You know you want it. Yeah, I think, yeah. Dang it, what a, <laughs> yeah, she's in pre mode because usually she will whack, but apparently not, man. I shouldn't have done that intro. <laughs> oh, well, you guys will see her take down in a future video. Let's top up her water. There you go, girl. You enjoy that. Come on. Mature out quicker, because these guys are so beautiful as adults. Now say hello to my Selena Cosmia. Hello, girl. This is Japanese. I don't even know what their common name is, but here's a roach, and you will take it for us. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> What a beautiful girl, look at her. I think it's the Java yellow knee or orange knee, I don't know. But this is the red color form one. There are actually two localities of these. And yeah, this is the lighter color. The other Java dances is kind of a grayish black, I think. Yeah, but this is absolutely stunning. This one is a more rare locality species. But regardless, it is still the Selena Cosmia Javanensis. This is my gorgeous, gorgeous Gramastola Pulcropis, the Chaco Golden Knee. I'm pretty sure she is hungry. Come on, girl. 
Ooh, there we go. <laughs> took you a while, but still took it, which is the most important thing, right? <laughs> now I'm gonna clean her water dish. Hello, big girl. You want a roach? Ooh, there we go. Yo, look at that. I think that will be the thumbnail. <laughs> So that's my massive Grandma Stola Pulcra, the Brazilian Black. And we paired her like four times, I think. And just waiting patiently for her to give us babies, hopefully. Because a lot of people don't successfully breed Pulcras. But yo, look at her. Absolutely beautiful. She is about a good seven to eight inches. And she is about 12 years old now. This is not a Grandma Stola Pulcra, you guys. This one is probably even, oh, probably even more hungry. <laughs> the crunch. You heard the crunch? Look at that. The crunch is real in this one. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That is insane. Oh, oh. oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And we have got my third pulcra over here. Come on, girl, you hungry? Ooh, come on. You're usually hungry. You know you want it. Come on. Oh, you're in primo. Please don't tell me. Oh, there we go. A very gentle takedown. Oh, you haven't got it yet. And come on. Ooh. Oh, I think this one would be a better thumbnail. Did you hear the crunch? It was like, Oh my gosh, that's crazy, yo. Look at the juices. Oh yeah, by the way, those are papaya juice because I got loaded the rotors with papaya yesterday. So they are full of nutrition. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's see if the little dwarf is hungry because this is my Logillus inermis. And come on, come grab it. Oh, whoa, 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 did you grab it? Oh, oh, no. Oh, wait, she's right there. She's right there in sight. Are you, I think she's actually interested. I think she is. Come on, come grab it. Come on, come on out. Come on out. You know you want it. Oh, yep, she's coming out. She's definitely coming out. Oh, yeah, this is going to be pretty promising. Come on, come on. <laughs> Oh, uh, we've not had a, a dwarf takedown in quite a while. Look at her, she's coming out. She's coming out. You know you want it. Come on. Oh, 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 yo, what was that? She almost got it. Wait, I think I'll need a smaller roach because she is, she looks hungry, but I don't have a smaller roach. Wait, let's see. Over here, do we have a tiny roach? I think we do. Here we go. Here, no, come here, come here, come here. Come, you freaking, come here. Oh man, seriously, wrong one. Where are the small roaches when you need them, man? Here, come here. Oh man, I, I think I squished it. But here, do you want it? Do you want it? I think you want it. Come on, come on. <laughs> yeah, come on. Grab it already. What are you doing? Such a, come on, what you doing, man? Oh, there we go. <laughs> that took a while, about close to two minutes, but she took it down. Oh well, <laughs> sorry guys. Let's move on to the normal tarantula enclosures. Here's a mature male for Mictopus cancerides. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. I'm still yet to find a female for this guy, but yeah, that right there is the takedown of a mature male for Mictopus cancerides. I'm not sure of the common name, so yeah. Don't judge. <laughs> one of the very common, yet one of my favorite species, the Aphonopelma simani. The Costa Rican zebra. Hey, come on, roach, freaking playing dead. Are you serious? This is not, oh, 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 okay. Like I said, this is not the time to play dead. Oh my gosh, did you see that? <laughs> oh, yo, she bite here and the, the juice are coming like over there. Like what even? That's crazy. Oh, yeah, her burrow is way down there. And she is way out here, which is awesome. Saying hello to us. You see legs? Let's go. Whoop. Oh. Oh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> she took it. That's my Nando Colorado Velocis. Here's another Colorado Velocis. You hungry, girl? Are you hungry? Here you go. Yeah, come on out. 
God, there we go. <laughs> Beautiful, yo. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, this tarantula hijacked a plane and now it is her property. <laughs> she molted about three weeks ago. So that is her first meal after that molt. I wonder, are you gonna come and grab it? Or... Yeah, she got it. She's so fat. <laughs> So I'll give her a small little roach. There we go. That's my Phonopelma calcodes. I don't want her to be too plump, so that'll do. That'll do. Hungry or not hungry? Hungry. <laughs> Always hungry. That's my Acanthoscoria geniculata. Wait, is it? Is it? Oh man, I think I'm confused. Yeah, I think Acanthoscoria geniculata. There we go. Absolute. Gorgeous girl. She didn't eat in the previous feeding, but I mean, not the previous feeding video, but when I tried to feed her, she did not eat. But today, she took it for us. Let's go. All right, just took a short lunch break and I am back right now with this continuation of the feeding video. Yeah, I don't even know what I'm saying. But yeah, next up, we have got my Nandu Chromatus, which is just patiently waiting Hopefully she doesn't like run in when I open this. Yep, she doesn't run in. But the thing is, oh, I spoke too soon. I had to speak too soon, didn't I? <laughs> but yeah, let's get the roach in and hopefully she will take it. Come on. Yep, the roach. Perfect position. Just gotta come out and you are so doomed, buddy. You are so doomed. Come on out. Yes. Not a very smart roach, are you? Not oh 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 I got a shock I got a shock myself oh my okay girl calm down Whew. man I think that was the best takedown in this video oh my gosh primo or not primo this is my non do try peppy not in primo because <laughs> I don't know why she's just around here now usually she's like at the back down there but then now she's over here, so I was guessing that she may be about to molt here because this place is really flat, so... Yeah, but I guess that's not the case. You are plump, aren't you? This is my Nandu... What is this? Colorado... No. Nandu Carapoensis. That's right. I always get confused with the Colorado Velocis and the Carapoensis. But yeah, this is the Brazilian Red. And you... Hey, chase it! Wait! Oh, no ro Freaking roach. They started to disappear in there. It's okay. Just for the takedown, we will give it a small roach. Did she take it? I think she did. <laughs> ah, anyways, let me take this, please. Can I, can I, please, 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 thank you. She got it, but please, this is the place of your water dish. There we go. Now we're just gonna fill it up and we will move on to the next tarantula. Meet my Formictopus auratus. This one is going to be a... Ooh! Whoa! <laughs> Damn! Damn, son! What was that? That was awesome. That's what it was. Awesomeness right there. Say hello to my Thrixopelma ocurti, the Peruvian flame rump. There we go. Very nice. Very very nice. Look at the abdomen, you guys. It's like legit pink. And that is where they get the name Flame Rump. Damn. Beautiful girl. When you are happy and you know we do the dance. Happy dance. When you're happy and you know we do the dance. Happy dance. Who is ready to meet their doom? You look like a juicy one. In three, two, one. Come on. Come on, you're not hungry, but you're always hungry. Come on, come on, Roach, just, just, just go in, get in. No, not here, not here. Go, go the other, other way. Please don't run at me. Please don't run at me. Yeah, there we go. Go put it over there. Come on, you know you want it. Come on, you're always wanting a Roach. Are you freaking kidding me, girl? Don't tell me you're in pre-mold again. You just molted not too long ago. Arr. Are you freaking kidding me? Seriously? No? Wow. Oh. Told you you're hungry. Told you you're hungry. Problem is. 
What's your problem? I told you. I told you. I told you she's hungry. She's always hungry. What did I tell you? Yes. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's what we talking about. Very, very hungry girl. Always a very hungry girl. Here's my female formictopus oratus. The other one just now. Oh, nice. Nice. The previous one just now, the other formictopus oratus. That one was a male, which is right beside her, still enjoying his meal over there. And yep, yeah, this is the female, and hopefully she will, which I kind of doubt that she will mature out first, so we can pair them. But usually, the males mature out first, which is unfortunate. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Chill, girl. Chill. This is my avicular metallica. Whoa, girl. Chill. I know you're hungry, but come on. Ah, uh, you don't want to take the dubia? On, take it. Yes, that's my avicularia species Ecuador. You guys remember this matured male, Lasiodora para Lasiodora para hibana? This one's the one that got attacked by the female. You see the cornstarch and all. He is doing absolutely fine. Whoa, he is very hungry as well. So yeah. As you can see, oh my god, oh. <laughs> that shows that he's perfectly fine. He was injured, he was bleeding because the female attacked him, and then we put cornstarch, and yeah, he's doing super well, like seriously, this is insane. So yeah guys, I think that will be it for today's feeding video, hope you guys enjoy. I think this feeding video is pretty long, so yeah. We'll do another feeding video in the near future. So if you like this, make sure you thumbs it up. So you'll let me know that, hey, I like your feeding videos. Let's do another one. Yeah. If you thumbs it down, then you're letting me know that, hey, this feeding video sucks. But regardless, I'm still going to be uploading another feeding video. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Stay safe. Have a good one. And peace.